Hey, how's it guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect to BigQuery in Google Sheets. All right, so you can use a brand new Google Sheets or you can use the existing Google Sheets. So it's up to you. From the tab menu, you want to click on data, then go to data connectors. And here you should see connect to uh, BigQuery as one of the options. Now click on connect to BigQuery. Then it's going to display all the projects that you have access to. I'm going to select my SQL for BigQuery project. And for my data sets, I'm going to choose Reader as the uh, data set source. Or if you want, you can write a customer query to uh, limiting the records that you want to return. Actually, uh, let me write a SQL query to uh, limiting the records that I want to uh, import to Google Sheets. All right, so my uh, table is going to be called BigQuery. And in forms, you can expand the uh, schema table to expand the uh, tables that you want to uh, export or import uh, in this case. All right, so for my BigQuery table, I have all these uh, columns. Now let's say I only want to uh, import name, score, and saved counts. And I want to insert a word clause where the score is greater than 10. And it's going to be my query. And it's going to uh, take, I think about, actually, let me see. It's saying that my query is incorrect. Oh, I know why. Because I need to uh, provide the data set's name. If you are trying to create a table that is in a different project, then you will need to uh, specify the project name. And once the query is validated, it's going to uh, tell me how much uh, process power the query will be using. Then I can click on connect to uh, put the data set or to link the data set. All right, so since we're actually linking the uh, data source from BigQuery in Google Sheets, so unfortunately you don't have the ability to edit the records. So it's going to be a uh, read-only uh, permission. But in Google Sheets, we have the options to uh, create a chart or charts, a pivot table, insert different functions to do different uh, computations, or we can uh, create another subset of tables using the extra function. And here we can, uh, actually this one is going to be the uh, computation counts. And for the function, uh, we can using one of the functions on this list and for count states. And it's going to give us a, a brief summary in terms of our data set itself. And one more thing, you can schedule the data refresh schedule by clicking on schedule refresh. And here you can set how frequently uh, you want this data set to be refreshed. All right, so I think this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video as well. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.